Let's walk through this anatomy, starting with the upper respiratory system and then the lower. So here's our upper. And we've got things like the nose. This is the first place that air passes in. You know that air can pass through your, your oral cavity as well, which is here, not part of the respiratory system, but um, respiration really could be. But you can get air in through there as well. So upper respiratory up here, nose, this is the nasal cavity. So air is going to pass through here. Um, we'll talk briefly about these structures here. Air is going to pass down into the pharynx. And I spelled that right. Nice. These are all conducting passageways we're talking about. We're conducting air from the external environment into the body, all part of that pulmonary ventilation. Then we've got our lower respiratory system. We're still gonna be just conducting at first, and, but just conducting, that's an important job. There's also gonna be other functions. Like for example, this first one here, the larynx, it's part of the conducting passageways, but it's also gonna be involved in sound production and um, keeping food from going down the esophagus. I'm sorry, keeping air, keeping food from going down the trachea, which is what you don't want. Notice the esophagus is right here. esophagus. This passageway continues and becomes the trachea. You can see there's some different anatomy there with these um, rings that surround it. And then those passageways continue. We've got one bronchus, two bronchi. These first set of divisions that are within the lung itself these divide further into bronchioles. They're really just um, divisions. You can see this increase in surface area that's occurring here. As we have further and further splitting, we eventually have um, what's called respiratory bronchioles, which are bronchioles that have split a whole bunch of times, right? So there's a whole lot of respiratory bronchioles. They're also going to be a place where respiration occurs. So they are actually this right here. These are alveoli, the air sacs of the lung where gas diffusion occurs along with respiratory bronchioles. So the two locations where respir respiration occurs, external respiration, is going to be these two right here. These are sometimes called respiratory zones, the region, the zones where there's respiration. The rest of these are conducting zones. The last, I believe, piece of anatomy here I mentioned in the previous video is that diaphragm. There are rib muscles that are also going to be important. But um, here I just want to note the diaphragm, which is a skeletal muscle that can move up and down it, when it contracts. Um, it actually flattens and is going to change the air pressure inside the thoracic cavity. So we'll come back to that. So here is that continuous passageway of the respiratory tract. Where is our conducting zone? It's gonna be everything up to here. Here's our respiratory bronchial. So this region from above here, really, we've got you know larynx above that. This whole region is our conducting zone, region, portion, whatever you want to call it. Air conduction, you should know the passageways involved. And then down here, we've got the respiratory zone or portion. Uh, 
Okay. Learning check one. In which two specific structures does external respiration occur? 